This is my vintage car phone from the early 90s. You can't make phone calls because it's based on ancient first-generation analog cell phone service. That's not acceptable. I'm working on fixing this with a custom Bluetooth adapter so that the phone calls can go in and out through my modern cell phone. I'm intercepting the connection between the handset and the transceiver of the phone so I can take full control of the handset. The only thing I'm really using from the transceiver is the power supply and the circuitry for turning the phone on and off. Here's where most of the magic happens. Right, there's the microcontroller that I've programmed to communicate with the handset of the phone, generate sounds for all the button presses, and also communicate with the Bluetooth module. These components process the sound that's generated by the microcontroller. Uh, this little guy here boosts the power of the sound signal. Uh, these resistors and capacitors filter it to smooth out the sound. And then finally, this guy here is a digital potentiometer that I use for volume control. And finally, we have the Bluetooth module. This takes care of all the complexity of communicating with a modern cell phone. The module itself is actually pretty small, but it's mounted to this adapter to plug into a breadboard. We have the communication lines between the microcontroller and the Bluetooth modules so they can talk to each other. And then this is the output from the microphone of the handset going into the Bluetooth module. I don't yet have the audio going the other direction from the Bluetooth to the handset, but I'll work on that later. And in case you're wondering, these extra wires here are to plug into a programming tool so I can load new code onto the microcontroller. It's demo time. First, let's power up the phone. Now remember, everything you see happening on the phone is custom programming that I'm completely in control of. None of this is original behavior. So I haven't paired it yet. Let's go into pairing mode. Now it'll show up on my phone. Now it's paired. We have service. Ooh, only one bar of service. Reception's pretty horrible in here. There you see it's connected. Now that I've paired it, if I turn it off, no longer connected. Turn it back on, it will auto reconnect. There we go. Let's dial a number and see if it works. I'm going to call T-Mobile's 1-800 number. And there it goes. And we can end the call. Let's clear out the display. And I've programmed the ability to Recall the last number you dialed. Time for an incoming call so we can hear the ringer. Answer the call. And then let's end it from over here. I hope you enjoyed this tour of my car phone project. It's still a very early work in progress. I have to get audio flowing in both directions and work out a lot of annoying little details, but it's coming along nicely. If you're interested in some of those nitty gritty technical details, check the description for a link to a forum thread where I've been posting updates.